Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins here. Well, there's a stock that's going up really nicely today. So it could be one of two things or a combination of the both of them. If you're interested to know what stock is moving up and why, you sit right there. Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest here on our YouTube channel. There's a stock moving up today, Torchlight, ticker symbol TRCH. And there's a couple of reasons why it's going up, and of course, everybody's going down the meme right uh, route that the stock, that's why the stock is going up. Well, I've got a couple of things that I wanna add to that. Could it be a meme stock move? Maybe. But there's another thing that could be pushing the stock's price higher as well. Before we get started, as always, if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to let you know when new information or new content comes out. And folks, don't forget, hit the like button. Get this out to everybody. The more likes we get, the more YouTube will share this with other people in YouTube land. All right, so what I'm gonna get into today is Torchlight. Stock is going up. The stock is already becoming part of a merger with Meta Materials. It's supposed to have already happened or really close to happening, but they extended it out a few days. Why? Because they're doing a special dividend right now. Let's go take a look at it. So here's the story, all right? The story is Torchlight stock, the big news that has Torchlight Energy soaring today. A pending merger bought a couple of extra days, enough to ensure a special dividend is paid in time. So let me take this off real quick so that you can see. Uh, a special dividend is paid in time. They're gonna do a special dividend. Now this is gonna do a couple of things. One, it could get people excited into buying into the stock, which I saw happened today, but then I also saw a big pullback in the stock as well. Now, it's looking like Friday's 16% surge, which was last week, um, was just the start. Investors are pushing the value up another 40% ahead of Monday's trading, which is today, as meme stock message boards continue to light up on Torch stock. All right, what's behind the move? Fundamentally, it could be this is it. Today's announcement that the company bought a few extra days to finalize a merger transaction. So uh, Torchlight, along with uh, Metal Material, uh, with this merger, uh, Metal Material, which is on the Canadian Stock Exchange, now gets some input or gets now part of the NASDAQ. A lot of people were like, well, they just want to get on the NASDAQ. Well, nonetheless, two different industries. Torchlight is in the oil industry where uh, MMTF is make advanced uh, materials. That's meta materials. But shareholders still have to approve the deal. Uh, they already have approved the deal. That was back in December, whose terms stipulate that meta material shareholders will own 75% of the combined company. So meta material will own three quarters of uh, Torchlight, while Torchlight Holders gets 25% of the merger. All right, days later, on June 14th, Torchlight declared a special dividend. Now, the curious thing is I have not been able to find how much this dividend is, all right? And it's going to be interesting because now, once we get into the second part of why this stock could be going up, that dividend will play a role. Now, as they declare their special dividend, uh, oil and gas company today announced they've uh, declared a special dividend in the series of uh, Series A preferred stock to be issued on a one for one basis to common stockholders as of record on the close of market trading on June 24th. So you need to be an owner of record for the stock by June 24th. Well, today is the 21st. So I'm thinking that a lot of people got into the stock. You have to be an owner of record before this date in order to get the stock uh, to get the dividend. Well, maybe a lot of people became owners of record before the 24th. And I'm wondering if they've got to hold on to the stock by the 24th. I need to find out. But um, as long as you're, you've are you got the stock or uh, uh, stockholders of record as of the close of market trading on the 24th, all right, so the special dividend is to be issued in connection with the previously announced business combination transaction with Meta materials. So stock uh, stockholders on record as of June 24th will be entitled to receive the dividend, which will consist of one share series 
a preferred stock for each share. Now, is that the only thing? Normally, in a special dividend, you get money. I'm wondering, in this case, if it's just another share of the stock. All right, so there that is, and maybe that's why I couldn't find any specific price. Now, here's the other side of it. Became the latest stock touted on Reddit as a possible short squeeze. That is possibility number two that raised the stock's price higher. So, you know, it's interesting that as more and more stocks utilize this whole possible squeeze thing, that they're getting recognition, driving stocks prices higher. I'm wondering if we're in the state of trading where all it takes is for you to say, hi, I am ABC company and this company's in a short squeeze. Let's go after the hedge funds. I'm wondering if we're in that time of, of investing right now. All right, the Plano-based company jumped as much as 74% today. This is on Monday, June 24th. Um, to a price of uh, June 21st, actually, as of uh, to $10.88 a share on Monday before pairing some gains, though it's still up about 130% from a week ago. Torchlight has a market capitalization of $1.2 billion, is the second biggest gainer on the NASDAQ this year. That's huge. I've already done a story on Torchlight, and if you look in the description, you should see a link to the prior video that I did on Torchlight. All right, so in December, they announced a deal to combine Metamaterial, which is a Canadian company that describes itself as a designer and manufacturer of complex films and other materials called Metamaterials. Two different companies. One is in the oil in the game, and this one is in a whole total different business. And again, they went with this merger to Torchlight to be put onto the NASDAQ. All right, so I said, all right, let me go do a little bit more. I wanted to see more about the short squeeze. Now, I see that the short uh, float right now is at 12.45%. I do know it is as of May 28, 2021. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, wait a minute, that's old news. I couldn't find anything newer to show what the actual float was uh, on the short side for the stock as of right now. So with the information that I have, that's not a ton to really be looking at for a short squeeze. Now, if you all are in the camp of the short squeeze, then let's think of it this way. The hedge funds that may be shorting it or now not have to not only buy the stock back, but also have to buy back at the stock plus the dividend or the extra share that's going to be awarded for being an owner of the stock. And if that's the case, it's going to drive the stock's price higher as well. So those are my two ways of looking at What's going on with the stock? Is it the, de the declaration of the special dividend? Uh, or is it a short squeeze? Or is it a combination of both? All right, let's take a look. Let's go find the stock in the VectorVest software. We have it trading at $9.87. It's got a value of $0.33. Cents. This stock is grossly overvalued. Nonetheless, no matter which farm or which, which side you're on, the stock is grossly overvalued. Fundamentals are not there, relative value, relative safety, none of that. I think the biggest thing about Torchlight is once it does the merger, it gives metamaterials some room to grow in the U.S. stock market. And I think that overall, that's what this was all about. The stock has got negative earnings. It's got negative earnings growth rate. There's nothing really good or fundamentally sound about the stock. Now, I'm going to right click and I'm going to view the stock graph. This is what happened today. I'm going to put this on a one year graph. As I mentioned, I did a story on this back here when the merger happened. So I've been on board with this as, as a, a story in YouTube as soon as the merger news came out. Even after that, look at the run up, look at the pullback. Most recently, and I'm looking at three and eight exponential moving averages. Most recently, the three and the eight did cross, but look at the lack of volume behind it. Now, with all of the chit chat that's going on with Reddit and all of that, look at the volume pickup on the stock. Now, earlier as I looked today, I saw a big wick at the top. And I can understand that. Yesterday or Friday, when people went to sleep, the price of the stock closed at $6.27. They woke up this morning, this stock took off. There was a lot of profit taking. 
But right now, you notice that the body is getting bigger again. It was a lot smaller. It's getting bigger again on big volume. Why? I still think it is the dividend information that's driving the stock's price higher. That's my personal opinion. Now, couple that with it being touted on Reddit, that will push the stock's price higher, but I do have some profit taking. A lot of people made a good little piece of money in one day on really, really big volume. So that's where I stand as far as that is concerned right now. Let me put my camera back on. And you know something? No matter how you look at it, it's a stock, it's on the move. It's on the move for a reason, whether it's on the move because of the dividend. And remember, you have to be an owner of record before the 24th in order to take advantage of the dividend. And if this is being squeezed, the hedge fund or whoever is shorting this is going to be accountable for not only buying back to get that stock's price back higher where it's sitting at right now at $9.87, but they're also going to be accountable for the extra share that's going to be awarded as far as the special dividend. So we'll see what happens. So it's either one or the other, or it is a combination of the two, but this stock could have some good upside potential nonetheless. So until the next time I see you folks, have a great day. See ya.